I've been on in an RM for quite some time about uh, starting to get the Eagle Moss Star Trek craft collection. Um, not subscribe to it because, you know, um, I don't want all the ships and some of the ships I don't like. So I thought I'd just cherry pick my favourites. And as I say, I've been um, thinking about it for some time, but another project always comes along or something else to spend my money comes along on. And uh, I've never got round to it until um, I went on the, their website and this fella uh, was released, the Merchantman ship from um, the opening of Star Trek 3, which I really, really, really like that design. Um, so it's like, okay, let's go for it. So I've gone off and got one. Um, and it's just come after about a two week delay. I bought it direct from Eagle Moss and um, it's taken nearly two weeks to get here. So not too impressed with, by that. But anyway, it's here. I've just taken it out of the box and straight away, um, I've changed my mind on what I was going to do. Um, I know the filming miniature, by the way, I haven't looked in this magazine yet. I haven't opened the model yet. Um, I know from shots of the filming miniature that it would be a bit of a challenge to repaint um, because this merchantman ship is actually a, a, a shade of pink. And I used to have the little um, Games Workshop one. And I remember that was a heck of a job to try and get a pink that didn't look pink, if you know what I mean. So um, I thought, well, right, the challenge is going to be repainting it. Um, because I know sometimes with Eagle Moss um, products, the, paint, the, the, the sculptures are really good. The models are good, but it's let down on the paint job. And I'm just looking through here. I think these are CGI images. These aren't these aren't shots of the uh, filming miniature, but that looks pretty darn close um, to what we saw. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is very good. I've never seen these shots before. Oh, smart! I'm getting all uh, enthused now. I think I might get more of these craft. If we get photos like this, I don't know why that's, oh, because, you know, the bird of prey blows it up. So if this is the quality of the magazines for effect shots and behind the scenes, then, um, yeah, I'm going to be getting some more of these. Let's just see if there, is there a proper photo of the actual miniature? Hmm, that's odd. That's odd that uh, you've got CGI shots of the miniature, but not the actual miniature. And I know the actual miniature does exist um so that's a bit odd see look here's some of the other ships and yeah i'll be going for the enterprise and the excelsior and the reliant but an awful lot lot of these the gone to what the heck is a gone to um yeah and i'm not i'm not subs subscribing I'll, I'll be buying up individual ones so very nice and I thought, okay, if the paint job's not much cop, repaint it. But then, that, as I say, that is a challenge. Go out and get a, a, a pink that will match. I don't know. But when I took it out of the box, I think I can see what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if you can see in there, but the colour scheme looks all right, but it's got a metallic sheen to it. Now, Eagle Moss do this quite a bit. I've got the Eagle Moss um, Batman uh, collection from years ago, a chess set. And um, the, some of the colour schemes were really, really good, uh, let down by them being in a metallic sheen. And I think we've got the same thing here. Here we are, Merchantman. It's just called the Merchantman. Um, so that's the stand. I've got the stand there and the thing that holds it there. Here she is. Yep, I thought so. Oh, look at that. Can you see? That has... <laughs> A proper metallic sheen to it. The panel work is excellent. You know, different. Oh, I can't say it. the different panel shades are really, really good. But oh, too metallic. A really nice model, though. Excellent model. Very pleased with this. So yeah, as soon as I looked at that, it's like oh, they've gone the metallic route. I think the first thing to do is put some matte varnish on this try and just tone down the 
the sheen on it and then I think what I'm going to do is there's nothing wrong with this all the metallics but I might I might just highlight them a bit more and I always got the impression this ship is like uh, Star Trek's version of the Millennium Falcon I beat up so I think I'm going to beat it up more I think we're going to get some rustiness in there and some ickiness and dirtiness but that's a fabulous model and a nice size as well really nice size I like this yeah this has got me enthused for the collection so I'll work on this one and when done I'm getting another one I think 